That's Tink Tube, a competitor to 8020, I would say. This is what the tube looks like. I think three different colors. It has this electroplate coating on it. The light on it there. My dad uh, cleaned up this table and put these vices on here to hold everything. The company Tink Tube gave me, they didn't even give me a budget. They just said, go online, order whatever you want. Thank you. And I've been very patient through this van build. I was waiting for an idea that really grabbed me. They asked me to build a roof rack for solar panels. You can actually build a custom roof rack. This is the important thing. Esteban over at Tink Tube, you can make an appointment with him and he'll design it. He pulled up my van right in front of me during our Zoom chat and he built this box for the back. The air conditioner cover is also going to be a bike rack and this is the foam that they sent me for the bars that I'm going to set the bike on. Everything came labeled paper bag which is environmentally friendly. It makes it really easy to keep everything organized. This is all the parts that I'm going to need. I'm trying to find some kind of material to put on the flat. It has to be breathable. So I'm gonna cut this tube. My appointment with Esteban, the rack was all designed, my van up on the screen. So I knew all the measurements were gonna be perfect. He gave me a cut chart, how much tink tube I'm gonna need and exactly what lengths to cut it at, a list of all the fittings that I would need. I think I would have liked to do a roof rack. Look at my dad's roof rack. This rack was $500 had to put holes the tink tube there's spaces on the roof to put bolts down in to hold the rack in you don't have to put any holes in the van plumbing pipe cutter pipe cutter my dad actually got a new blade in this one i should put a link to a device like this and also the rubber on there it made it a lot easier i don't have to worry about covering up the pipe so i don't damage it All you need to cut it is a pipe cutter and they have them on the website. A really nice one actually for 40 bucks, not that one. These are the fittings needed to fasten this thing to the van. So I don't have to drill any holes in the van. I gotta flip them around. Can't mount here because there's something there. The mount right here. That's gonna do it. Perfect for the sides. The back, you didn't even notice, did you? I'm thinking it's, it's about to be uh, fall and winter. I'm not even gonna put any holes in this yet. Cut it to fit the back. Of course the table saw is covered with stuff. Yeah, it's record. Yeah, the record is counting up. 23, 24, 25. I'm really psyched with this. I think it has some character. For the lid, I'm gonna go with a piece of wood. I just thought, I've been thinking about this forever. Black stain, and as it fades, I think it'll look even better. Use it as a table, it opens. Bottom is gonna have to be a grill. Does anybody have any ideas like where I can get something? It's gonna say tink tube, just so people know, know what this is. I wanna put foam. Right in behind here, crash protection, but the, also I think it'll help stabilize it because it's mounted to the air conditioner. With the foam in there, it'll be perfect. My first outro. I'm gonna put the video. If I do more work on this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that video right here. <laughs> did I, what did I just say? Any next steps that I do on this thing, I'll put those right here. Until then, a different video will be there.
Yeah. And you should click on that video because it's probably good. What do you guys want me to make a video about? <laughs>